You guys are some sick, twisted individuals, you know that? Actually, scratch that. You're demons. Actual demons. Because in our last video, our top comment was from Devil28, telling us to do the Bryson 800 with slug rounds and the Daunt C80 sniper scope, and we have to be crouched the entire time. So that's what we'll be doing today. And if you want to be a demon yourself, you can leave a comment down below of what weapon and what challenge you want us to do next. The top comment will be the weapon that we do. But just look at this. Look at this monstrosity in my hands. So let me show you the build really quick. Obviously, we have to have the Daunt C80 as our sniper scope. I don't know where the rest of the gunsmith went. It's just the UI. But we have the 12-gauge slug on here as well. We have the demo underbarrel grip. I think it helps with, like, idle aim stability. I also have the demo firewall barrel here because this helps with uh, ADS speed and movement speed. We have one more open spot here. So let me try to figure out what I want on this. Do we want more damage range or we want more movement speed? I'm thinking we might want to go range because we're not going to be doing a whole lot of moving and we want to be able to shoot wherever. So let's go with the suppressor, make this thing even more cursed. That's ridiculous. But the challenges that we got to do today is get 40 kills with the Bryson 800, which we already have complete. Uh, we got this done on stream while getting it leveled up. Shout out to those of you that come by the streams. 10 double kills, which are also complete. We are just tearing it up, leveling this thing up. And we need to get 20 one shot, one kills with the Bryson 800. And we get a nice solid color camo. And then once we get those all complete, we need to get three kills without dying 10 times with this. Then we'll have two shotguns done in the weapon class, making us get a little closer to platinum on these. And we're going to switch it up a little bit today with our class. I have tear gas here as my tactical because I figured if I'm going to be moving slow, other people are to be moving slow as well. Maybe we'll switch it to stuns later, but I haven't really used tear gas. We're going to try it out. We just have Semtex here. We're not going to be using it too much, but for our perks, we have double time, which actually increases our crouch movement speed by 30%. We got extra tactical here, so we get an extra tear gas. Cold blooded, because if we're not going to be moving too much, we need to be able to stay alive from like VTOLs and things like that. And then we also have ghosts, so we're not seen as much. And then we got trophy system as our field upgrade, just in case we need to like sit in one spot and not get naded to death. But, anyways, that's enough talk. Let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get this thing done. So I have some practice with this challenge already because we're doing it a bit on stream and it is just awful trying to get around the map even something like shipment as small as this it takes forever to get around and look at the scope this is ridiculous but watch this hold on somebody peek me or just get hit by this or i'll just get naded and this is a very agonizing way to play just walking around crouched but let's see if we can get a long distance shot here and we can beautiful 20 meters with a shotgun that's dirty but what we need to do hip fire kills hip fire kills with slugs is not going to be very uh nice for us but one shot one kills we can crank these out all day oh -hoo -hoo. oh we're still going in a quick oh i was gonna say a quick little four times that actually did happen but we could have kept carrying it on and it was just announced like a few minutes before i started recording here that the intervention's coming to season three but who needs the intervention when you already got it right here this is like the wish.com intervention i need to find a way to get these hip fire kills okay that's the way right there completely whiff a shot and they'll walk into the next one. Oh, we got weapon tuning now we just got this thing to max level and we're dead some tuning would do this thing good Oh, there's two hip fire kills. Oh, we're all done with them. Let's go. Oh, and we're killing it. And now I'm hoping we're getting the one shot, one kills camos counting. Because earlier when we were getting this done on stream, the double kills showed zero like the entire time until like, I think we just hit 10 and it was done. So for those of you out there that have like the bug, like where your double kills aren't counting, I'm almost positive that they are. They just don't show visually. So hopefully it's just a visual glitch and we're actually getting our one shot, one kills as well. Because it would suck to have two glitch camos and not really know our progress with them. There's long shots. Not that we need them for this. Oh, I accidentally sprinted. I'm cheating. Oh wait, check this out. Crash the whole time? Guess what? What now? Hmm? What now? No, I'm an honest man. I'm going to keep it crouched. Now let's throw out some tear gas. Let's see if we can get people with this. Come on, peek out. What? Oh, I might have actually stood there. Don't mind me. What? It was so hard to explain to people, like, while we were getting this leveled up, why I was just crouching around and using this ridiculous build. Like, I need a disclaimer that I'm a dumbass. And on top of that, I'm doing your guys' insane challenges. Because it just looks ridiculous walking around shipment like this. Like, you would think this was my first Call of Duty I've ever played. Where am I? I just got flashed into another dimension. And even with all these nerfs you guys are giving me, we're still kind of popping off. And by popping off, I mean 19 kills, but that's a lot more than I thought I'd be getting with this ridiculous setup. Like, the Bryson 800 is still a really good gun, regardless of what you put on it. It kind of tears. How many one-shot, one-kill medals do we need? 20? We're at 21 kills. You'd think I'd have it by now. Maybe a few of these people I got in more than one shot. Oh, come on. That's two right there. Why don't you just be a doll, Cod, and give me the camo already? Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Appreciate it, Cod. Now, I think that's all of our base camo challenges, and we can just go for gold now. We just need to get three kills without dying ten times. 
But now we have no way to escape any gunfight. Like if somebody approaches us, we cannot get out of it. We, can, we have to kind of just crab walk away. I hear you coughing over here. Why don't you peek out? There's three people in this crate. And I got none of them. I think we're on a two right now. Why doesn't somebody go ahead and just give me the third kill? Come on, how hard is it to, you know, give to charity? I'm the charity. And your life is what you're giving up to me. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of people over here. Hold on. They're all gonna go to fucking bed pretty soon. There we go. Nice little triple. I mean, maybe not that nice. But if it works, it works. That was like the sloppiest triple of my life. Oh, come on. One more. We're already on another double. If only this team could capture a few flags and the game could go on for longer, we might be able to get this whole gun done in one game. Ooh, nasty. Honestly, who needs snipers with guns like this? Look at that. And that's the game. We had 38 kills. Not terrible at all for this monstrosity. I and mean, we only died 23 times. Maybe we need to crouch a lot more in my normal games. Because I definitely would have gone negative if I was playing normally. Look at that. All the base camo's done. Let's throw on the aqua camo. Beautiful solid color camo. Oh, and we got three three kills without dying. That's pretty good progress for one game, I'll, I'll say. All right, game two. Time to continue our domination with this abomination. Bars. It looks so good, though. I love the aqua camo. I wish it wouldn't have been nerfed. It would be a lot more vibrant, a lot more saturated. But, you know, COD. And let us have nice things. But let's not get too cocky. We got to stay patient, stay crouched, and keep getting our three kills without dying. Okay, is somebody else sniping with a shotgun? Is that what I'm seeing? No, it's a sniper. So you can't even tell the difference. That's one. Where's two and three at? No, I pre-fired too early. Okay, little roadblocks here. Off to a slow start, but that's fine. I play like a crock pot. I don't start heating up till my, my 10th hour. And there's only four people on the other team. Everybody's leaving and timing out. So teammates, if you could... Spare me a few kills. I can only move so fast. Oh, spun him right next to him? Easy. That guy even threw a thermite at himself and escaped. Crazy play. Oh, there we go. That's that's three kills, though. How am I getting in these lobbies? Maybe it's playing like this that's making me play with all these bots. Because I've had the theory that SBMem kind of tunes the people in your lobbies to play not only at your level, like your performance. Like if you have a good game, you're going to get people that also had good games recently. But you'll be playing against people that have... You know, similar weapon builds and play styles as you. So let's see if we can find some people that are also crouching around in this. So I feel like they see like, oh, he played 90% of this game crouched. Let's play him with other people that were playing crouched. Like that guy right there. And I still see people just running for their lives too. Just sprinting head first at danger. And that's what I normally do. So it's a mix of both. Come on, re-peek. Go ahead. There you go. Peek back into it. There we go. And that's two. This is some intense sentinel gameplay. Oh! Come on! No! What? What's up with these hit markers now? What happened? They lower the power of my weapon? Maybe I should have tuned it. Definitely should have tuned it a bit for damage range. I wish you could tune mid-game. Same with, you know, changing out specific perks mid-game and not just changing perk packages. Wild that we even need to ask to be able to change out specific perks in COD now. How the mighty have fallen. I just cocked my own kill right there. I tear gassed myself. Did I just down him? Oh, I hate fucking people with last stand. Not, no. Okay, don't hate fucking them, but I hate people that fucking use it. Commas are important. I love fucking people with last stand. Don't want to get twisted. I'm like one kill away and I don't even know where these people are. Oh, he's right here next to me. Damn, playing like this has made me a dumbass. We're on a bloodthirsty, so who's the real dumbass here? Them. That's the correct answer. And we could have kept it going, but I reverted to my dumbass ways even harder. Oh, what? He just took a bullet for his teammate. Never mind. Okay, you know what? What am I complaining about? He came and gave me that kill. And that guy's... <laughs> that's what I'm saying about these, these flags and domination. That guy just almost burned himself alive as he tossed it right at the flagpole. And I'm just going off on these people spawning on me. Let's go, dude. And they're still spawning on me. More! Oh, no, I actually sprinted. Why didn't it go too far? And I just got a collat. Oh, we got it. That was gold. A collat for gold. Now, now, don't you dare put some, some dirty nasty on my name since I stood up there for a second. It was an accident, all right? Leave me alone. And you know what? Let's stop terrorizing these guys. Let's back out of this. And let's make sure that we actually got gold. 
Oh, you're, you're damn right we did. That was actually pretty fun. I like that. That was a fun challenge. I think the gun just made it way more fun. But let's go ahead, hop in game, and see what gold looks like there. And since hardcore private matches are still bugged, we are in an actual hardcore game. But this is what it looks like with gold. And it is glorious. This is actually a really fun weapon to do. I always love making the snipers or the shotguns into snipers. See, you can still get them confused. And even the crouching, I feel like it helped my KD. I'm not going to lie. The crouching might have been better for me. And just a little side note, this looks beautiful. I would love for this to be a war zone map. Look at this. Nice little waterfall and some power windmills. I don't, I don't know, really know what those are called. I'm not going to lie to you beautiful bridge this whole place looks amazing but that's another challenge foiled we've taken your evil suggestions and we've conquered them that's just another gold that we've gotten down but remember if you want to leave a suggestion for whatever weapon or challenge you want us to do go ahead and leave it down below and i'll have a comment there with all the other weapons that we've done so make sure you check that out first so we don't get any repeats but uh that's where i'm gonna end today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one later